The United Kingdom, Italy and parts of the USA, UAE and Qatar have been added to Kenya's list of safe countries from where passengers will be allowed to enter the country once international flights resume tomorrow. And as Faisal Ahmed now reports, travelers to Kenya will, however, have to declare their health status and install a mandatory contact tracing application while in the country. With the resumption of international flights likely to see travelers from across the globe jet into Kenya, the Ministry of Health is ring-fencing their presence in the country. In a new measure, passengers will be required to fill in their daily temperature readings on a surveillance app, which every passenger allowed into the country will be required to download. Using a mobile app to enable passengers filling in their details, starting with the passengers on our own airline, Kenya Airways. These details will assist us in tracing should it be necessary. The person will be prompted to, they will be prompted to give the daily readings for the temperatures for 14 days, in the, still in the app. And then they, if, you, if, you, if you don't give the temperature readings, you will be traced by the contact tracing team. So we are expecting that the travelers will comply and it will be easy for them. They're supposed to be filling this form at least before travel. <laughs> This comes a day after the Ministry of Transport also expanded its list of safe countries whose passengers will be admitted into the country. The newly listed countries include the United Kingdom, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Italy, France, as well as the United States of America, with the exception of travelers from California, Florida and Texas states. Additionally, the ministry has adjusted measures to ensure arriving passengers whose body temperatures are not above 37.5 degrees and do not have a persistent cough and have a COVID-19 negative free certificate will not be subjected to quarantine. Passengers arriving after curfew hours will only be allowed to proceed to their destinations so long as they produce valid tickets or boarding passes. These things will keep on changing. Therefore, those who will say that the ministry is talking about this and the other tomorrow will be quite rightly doing so. It will be the correct circumstance because as the situation changes, as nations escalate upwards in terms of risk assessment or escalate downwards in terms of reduction of risk, then the protocols, the, pro the travel protocols will change similarly. In the meantime, hundreds of Chinese nationals were at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport leaving the country. The health ministry saying the flight was pre-arranged by the Chinese government. There are very many Chinese in Kenya and I'm sure that um, they probably had uh, an, arranged way, an arrangement where they, were being to be, where they were going to be evacuated. And as far as these protocols are concerned, the fact that you have been told that and we have said that we are opening the airspace, perhaps they had already organized something because you never know. Air France and KLM have also announced the resumption of their flights to Nairobi with four scheduled weekly flights between Amsterdam, Schiphol and Nairobi and weekly flights between Charles de Gaulle in Paris and Paris every Friday. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.